Good morning. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. I just woke up from a morning nap. Folks, don't retire early. Just don't. Trust me. It's a trap. I have no idea what time it is. I have no idea what day it is. All I know is this today. Uh, I, I just made this cup of coffee. We're going to make this cup of coffee before we start this. How is everyone doing today? Are you uh, having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day. Wherever you are in the world, today we are looking at another ink from the Diamine Infant Calendar. Oh, yesterday was a day. I went shopping, which always breaks my back. And this morning I woke up with a terrible splitting headache. So I thought, I'm going to take a nap. Boy, was that a mistake. Blew through all of my alarms. For both my obligations alarms and my medical ill alarms. So, I cannot even imagine what my blood pressure is right now. <clears throat> the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Not slurring. <clears throat> so that's good, I guess. How are you all doing today? What's new? What's going on? <clears throat> Made this cute little painting yesterday. This is going to a pen friend. So they will get that soon. Today's ink is day six it's an orange ink and it's called buck fizz apparently it's like mixing orange juice and champagne I thought that was just a Tuesday afternoon. Anyway, <clears throat> wait, what is today? Wednesday afternoon. See, I don't know what day it is. <sighs> don't retire, folks. It's a trap. Okay. This is clean. Let's do the back. Thing. What do you say that we put that orange ink in this orange pen? Just 
it's a chameleon ink. It's got some shimmer in it. <clears throat> some goldish, greenish shimmer. Sort of similar to the first day. This year, I really like the shimmer because it doesn't take that much to agitate. Yeah, I do notice that the sparkles are bigger and heavier because they do settle way faster than they did last time. And they're, last year they were more difficult to get out of the corner of the, the bottle, but this one it takes just like two or three good gentle shakes. Which is amazing because I used to hate a few of them from last year. Because you could, you'd write with them and there would be no shimmer. I'm like, I thought this was a shimmer ink. I thought this was a shimmer ink too. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, it's clearly not pretending to be a shimmer ink. So I have decided that every day I'm going to pick a new pen to try this ink out with. Unless I really don't think that it goes with any of my pens, then it's just going to go in the serendipity. Because I thought that would be appropriate for the inks that really... No, I don't have a pen to go in it. Yesterday's pen totally didn't have a, a good black pen. I want to purchase in the new year <coughs> uh, a good black pen. A good black flex pen, I should say. And I couldn't put it in one of my Waterman pens, but I don't want to put my... I don't want to put a shimmer ink in one of my Waterman pens. Anyway, today is day six. It's up here by the word calendar. Rip this little tab off. I know that that's another day gone. What else? Okay, my calendar. Where's the calendar? Oh, it's underneath. One moment. Okay, let me just... Couple drops of water on there. Cute tip. Oh, I need to go to the 99 cent store. Some q tips. <clears throat> Put that water on there, leave it for a second. It's come to my attention that I need to get some pilot friction replacements. I'll get like a whole new kit of them because those ones. Such a sad day when your ball points run out of ink. Okay, so after a couple of seconds, letting that absorb, we're going to give it a little zhuzh to uh, simulate heavy storm. Heavy storm. And then we're going to take and see if it has any water resistance. Water resistance test shows it does have a little bit of water resistance. That's pretty nice. Not too bad at all. I might consider using this on the outside of an envelope if 
it wasn't so light, and it wasn't so sparkly. But because it's light and sparkly, I don't think it would be a great idea to use it on the outside of an envelope. Right. Let's take a look at this ink. This is a nice orangey sparkly ink. Look at all of that shimmer. Woo! Goodness. It's so, so sparkly. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I was really looking forward to an orange ink with some sparkle in it. Because, I, let me tell you, I was this close to making my own sparkly orange ink. And I thought, you know what? This is going to be the year of the chameleon ink. I'm probably going to get one in the Diamond Ink Bag calendar. So, you know what I did? I didn't ink up an orange. I didn't ink up my orange pen with Jacquard Orange Soleil Sparkle. And I get this. So this is perfect. Perfect. Beautiful ink painting. Toilet paper chromatography shows that there's some orange and some yellow. And of course that gold shimmer. That gold shimmer. I don't see any funny colors coming out. No real browns or greens. So that's nice. <coughs> Let's take a look at it in today's bullet journal. Let's see. Gosh, I almost slept the entire day. A waste. Let's see, this is the FPR version 2 with the Ultra Flex nib and the 6 2 AM 4 42 PM. The time of change is slowing down. It's 10 hours exactly today of sunlight, which means that that's two hours, no, that's four, no, that's like almost five hours less. One, I don't know how many hours less. Let me see. June. Where's June? June. How many hours of sunlight is there in June? So July, June 20th is the longest day of the year. <clears throat> and then we have 4 hours and 23 minutes. So 14 hours and 23 minutes. 4 hours more than now. So that's something to think about. The weather for today was... A nice day for sleeping in, let me tell you. 76, 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and 53 is the low. <clears throat> Mostly cloudy. Uh-oh. 
I had a feeling that might happen. <clears throat> uh oh. That's not good at all. What the hell is going on? I didn't push the feed in all the way. Sometimes, if you have a fountain pen revolution, Himalaya version 2, and you don't seat the nib all the way into the into the section, it will bloop out on you. So be careful of that. I do notice that this year the inks are more flowy than usual. There it is in the writing. Beautiful. Lucky for you guys, <clears throat> I've already finished the review, so we're not going to sit here forever and ever. There's what our ink looks like on HP Premium 32-pound copy paper. Nice and sparkly. So far, we've had so many sparkly inks. I didn't think it was going to be this sparkly. We've got Fortune's Gold, Masquerade, Nightfall, and Buck's Fizz. This is definitely going to be the year of the chameleon ink. I can feel it. Just don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I do like the shimmery and the shady inks. They're my some of my favorite. <clears throat> well, I also like the plain inks too. Okay, let's do some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Beautiful shimmer. No real shading, no feathering, no bleeding. A little bit of tiny hint of ghosting. Oh, we can't see it through the paper. Good. All right. <clears throat> this is. Lightweight traveler's notebook paper. Let me put my finger caught so I don't look in my finger. Beautiful shimmer. Tiny bit of shading. No feathering. No bleeding. A little bit of tiny hint of ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. Beautiful shimmer. Beautiful shading, no feathering, and heavy ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken, blood to the page. I should just tell you all right now that these all have shimmer. This is Field Notes Journal. All the 
feathering, blood to the page. A huge 100 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. A little bit of shading. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Can you notice that? Moisture 1917. Nice shading. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Midori MD Pamper. Nice shading. No feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Fifty two GSM Tomaway River. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Office Depot, Office Max. A little bit of spread, bleeding and ghosting. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Uh, Cosmo Air Light 75 GSM. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. Hands Gum. Hands Handles Company. Nice shading, no feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Marmon Namasane 80 GSM dot grid. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford Optic Paper 90 GSM. No shading, no feathering, bleeding, and ghosting. Too bad. Caliber Soft Journal. A little bit of feathering, bleeding, and ghosting. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. A little bit of shading, a little bit of spread. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Archer and Olive notebook paper. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Up and Up Wide Ruled composition book from Target.com. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. A little bit of shading, no feathering. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. I've got 81.4 GSM. No nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Pelican Hub. Pad. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. So, uh, um, let's do the Nanami 7C 68 GSM Tumway River. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Sons and Tumway River. No shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. You style notebook paper. No shade, no feathering, no a little bit of bleeding, tiny bit of no ghosting. CBS, no shade, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford notebook paper, no shade, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. <coughs> Five star mead, fry them like a chicken. Blend to the page. Pen and Gear Heavyweight Notebook Paper from Walmart.com. 
Actually, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Aqua B cross section pad. Actually, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Actually, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Rhodia dot pad 80 GSM. No shady, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNailBooks.com. No shady, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Original Crown Mail 100 GSM paper. A little bit of shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Okay, let's do a comparison panel, see where this implies. Okay, let's see. All right, this is it says Diamond Bucks Fees Fizz. With Birmingham Firebox, Autumn Oak, Pending Sands, Marigold, Monarch, Kyung Hee, this one's kind of close in the swatch, but not in the writing, Corner Line to Egypt, Califolio Inti, Red Panda, Vintage Copper, Antietam, Moonlight of Higashiyama's kind of close. Shiraku Koyami. Habanero. Sunset. Uh, Apache Sunset is kind of close. Golden Honey is kind of close. Operation Overlord Orange. Orange Soleil is kind of close. Mandarin Orange is kind of close. Orange Indian is kind of close. Sailor Africa is a little close. Laban Apollo is kind of close. Robert Oster Orange is kind of close. Mont Blanc Lucky Orange. Zhu Z King. Topaz is kind of close. Resvora is copper. Timing Flame is. A little darker. Summer Tanager. California Sunset. Mandarin Orange. Yuyake. Dragon's Napalm. Pumpkin. Monarch. Peach Punch. Manyo Sakura. Sailor's Delight. Sunset. Martian. Cayenne. Deep Dark Orange. Tango. Hokusai, Bennett Sushi, uh, Fuyugake, Inferno Orange is darker, Earth Brown, Neon Orange, Mango Moose is kind of close. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee, how are you doing today? Lami Mango is kind of close. Mahatma Gandhi is kind of close. Orange, uh, Private Reserve Orange. Silver is lighter. Wonderland is kind of close, but lighter. Take Boone for a tiny walk. Oh, congratulations for Boone. And NG Special. Yeah, this one was... I am reviewing late. I slept through the whole day. 
I, at nine o'clock, I woke up at like four o'clock this morning because someone was choking me out with cigarette mm -hmm. smoke. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> after I calmed down, I went, I was like, I'm going to take a little nap. Don't retire, folks. I slept until three o'clock this afternoon. And now it's telling me that it's dinner time. Uh, well, the bumblebee, while you're here, would you like to see some art? I did this little painting scene yesterday. It's not very good. I tried to mimic a, a picture from online. I think I did better with the flat scene. <laughs> this one definitely had texture to it, and I was not very good at it. This is what I was trying to copy. <laughs> And this is how it turned out. It's not very good. Oh, I did forget the little house right there. That's what I made that peak for. Oh, well. But you want to see what I turned it into? So I started and put it through Procreate. I put my painting through Procreate. And I stole the little Santa. <laughs> and I added some snowflakes to it and I colored in all the windows so that they look even what do you think about that I kind of fixed the the background and the trees a little bit isn't that cool yeah I mean it's not the bestest painting I'll probably ever make, but... And, like, I don't know how I'm going to impose a Santa in there. I might have to color Santa in there separately. I need to find some, like, very opaque colors. Right, yeah, that's the other thing. It's like I, I can never seem to get the portions down great. I think that, um, I think I had the same problem when I did the, um, when I did the other one too. When I did this one. But I liked how it came out through Procreate. And then I went crazy writing people's names. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad compared to <laughs> way more ground. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, it's a learning process, that's for sure. In the white, you have white proof when dry. Yeah. Oh, I I see. Yes, that's a point of view, right? But then the houses are all leaning, <laughs> or they're like on a very steep mountain. <laughs> I can see it now. It, 
the white, you have waterproof when dry. Well, I don't know if, because I've used three different types of white. I used the P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And then after that, I came in with my Pigma, whatever the hell this is, Uniball Signo with a white gel pen. Speaking of which, I need to buy a new one because I seem to be out. <clears throat> Come on. don't know how to get the nose comb off of this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's really chunky in there. Ooh, that nose cone is slick. Anyway, and then after that, I went in there and I tried to put some number 10 jelly roll. And then I kind of schmutzed it out a little bit. But even then, it didn't come out very good, so. I don't know. Oh, that's a very good idea. Hold on, I'm going to write that down. Write that down. What the hell is this? Oh, those are coordinates. Yes, that's an excellent idea. I wanted to wait till this like fully dried. I think it's fully dry, but it's still kind of schmutzy a little bit. So I'm gonna wait another day, and then I will, uh, I will attempt making that idea. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. What did you guys think about today's ink? Do you have the Diamond Ink Vent calendar? Are you thinking thoughts about getting this ink already? Let me know in the comment section below. That's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's sent to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye. Have a great day.